hell did I get here? So guys, that is basically the teleport we're gonna go over today. So I would say, let's go to Vegas. Okay, so now we are in Vegas Pro 16 and there are basically a few things that we need. The first thing is a clip of us pretending that we're going to teleport. And then we need also a clip of the new location without anybody in the screen. You don't want to be in the screen for about, I don't know, 20 seconds. And because we're going to make yourself teleport on that screen. So make sure to just go ahead and set up the camera, film the location that you want to teleport to for just, I don't know, like I said, 20 seconds, that should be good enough. And then obviously you want to pretend like boom, that you fell into the chair that you teleported. So the second thing we need is some awesome overlays for teleports. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to productiongrade.com. So my good friends over at Production Crate obviously have some awesome overlays for a teleport effect. So obviously in the search bar, we're going to type in teleport. And if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, there's a link in the description so you can go ahead and do that. So if you look up teleport, we have a lot of different teleport, as you can see, overlays that we can use. So we're going to pick a one that we just used for the intro, which is obviously this one. And we're going to click on there and we're going to make sure that we will download this to MOV because MOV, if we adjust a little setting, it will be transparent. We don't need to chroma key anything. So we're going to just hit the MOV one instead of the MP4. Now it is downloading. And right now we're going to just go ahead and drag that into our project. Obviously, while the clip is downloading, we're going to add some filters over it. So I think it's really cool if you could make this one slow motion. So if I play it back, this is basically what it looks like, as you can see very very nice just me pretending to teleport looking very epic and impacting if it's slow motion like that so then we're gonna go ahead and head over to the fx button i'm going to pick this turquoise glare with letterbox we're gonna drag that over the clip and we're gonna do that for every single clip that we use in this video so i'm gonna just go ahead and click on add on every single clip like that as you can see so i'm gonna go into video effects turquoise glare with letterbox click on add click on okay we're gonna do that for every single clip a few moments later so now that we have the filter on each of and every clip right now we're gonna drag in the effect that we just downloaded okay so we're gonna create a new video track and we're gonna place that effect over it on top of it so if i play it back this is what it looks like very very epic but what we need to do to make this transparent and to see through this is we're going to right click on that clip hit properties at the very bottom. Maybe we're gonna go to media. Now right here it says alpha channel. You wanna change the alpha channel from none to straight unmatted. If I hit okay, as you can see, we can now look through this. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do it like this. And then I'm gonna make these guys fade in like that. But I don't really think it is looking that optimized. So we're going to make this guy a lot bigger. So we're going to head over to the track motion icon right here. And we're going to just drag this guy this big like that. But as you can see, it doesn't really match the screen. We have like these flares going over the black bars. So we're going to crop that out as well. Head over to event pan crop of the flare effect. You want to hit mask at the very bottom. And then I would recommend to pick the rectangle or square mask creation tool. And I would just go ahead and select the entire screen and then just crop it out until it doesn't overlap these black bars like that we're gonna also do that on the bottom so it kind of looks like it cropped into the screen so what i also did for the intro is i wanted these electric kind of look like flames i just want to have them all across the screen not just in the middle so i just right clicked on the track and i hit duplicate then i'm just going to go ahead and hit the track motion and i'm going to just move this guy up just a little like that we're gonna make sure that the x one is nice and aligned and we're gonna duplicate this one one more time and we're gonna drag this guy to the right like that so now that it is overlapping on the entire screen 
I'm going to make sure that everything is nice and aligned like that. If I play it back, this is basically what it looks like. I'm pretending to teleport right there. Then I'm going to make these guys obviously fade in like this. But we also need some lens flares kind of thing overlay. I found one on YouTube, which is obviously this one. And we're going to just repeat the same process, create a new video track, place it right there add in also a fade in that are happening to these teleport effects then we're gonna change the compositing mode to screen like that so we can see through this now we need to repeat the process of masking so it doesn't overlap these black bars so that's what we're going to do so like this that looks nice also at the very bottom you guys know the drill obviously so now this looks very nice but i'm gonna lower the opacity of everything to 63 also this one to 63 and to 63 so now if I play it back, this is basically what it looks like and I'm preparing to teleport. Now we're going to go ahead and cut right here at the very end and then we're going to make this clip obviously happen like this. And we're going to crossfade these two like that. Boom. As you can see. And we're going to make these guys stop playing. So we're going to trim these guys down, obviously, right when the transition happens. So now the only thing we need to do is have a nice kind of swirl overlay into the second clip, which is this one, the last element, the lens flare animation plus free overlay stock footage. So I'm going to create a new video track and we're going to place this guy over on top of it and we're going to time it. So right here it happens, then the lens flare happens, and right when it faded out, we're going to cut that. So now we're going to go ahead and put the compositing mode to screen like this. We can now see through it, and now it's just a matter of timing. like that. Now we only need to trim this clip and pick the other ones and pretend that we just fell, for example, into our chair. That can also happen. So that's what we're going to do right now. Boom. So that's basically how to teleport anywhere. You can use this on anything. Doesn't matter your location. Just apply these effects. Head over to productioncrate.com. Link in the description to get your free effects, including all these endless teleport overlays that you can use in your video. So guys, that's it for this video. And this is the end result. How the hell did I get here? So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for the continued support. I will see you guys tomorrow in a brand new episode of reacting to subscriber videos. That's it. I will see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video. <laughs>